down there. Mm -hmm. Hi folks, today I thought I'd bring you out and show you our chicken coop. Um, this is just a tough shed that we bought that my husband rearranged to make it a chicken coop. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to clean. It has to be one of the world's easiest methods of cleaning. Anyway, I will take you inside and show you how we clean it. Okay, let's go inside and show you how this is done. Both doors come open. Super, super easy. I've already got my chickens out. Which I'll show you in a little bit. We have a um, the run separated with two gates so we can keep them out when we're cleaning. Let me grab my tools. Okay, I use a broom and this tool for um, basically my garden, but if it's rainy and you get mud, this is great. Okay, and we're going to show you how fast this is to get done. Take the water out. This is our little bucket and scoop. We do this every day. My husband's already done it, but I'll show you how we do it. These are full with sand, clay sand, and they sit up here and they poop in the boxes and then all we have to do is like a cat box. We just take, shovel it out, we throw it in the bucket, and then we can use it for our compost. And then if they poop here, we just do this to get it off. Okay. Oh, feathers. Somebody's molting. Okay, let me show you how quickly it is to clean this. My neighbor's taping for me today. She's so nice. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, because we had some rain and some mud, is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to spray to see if we have any mud, and we don't. So, nothing stuck on the ground. Move this out of the way. Okay. Hold on a second. Use that to block it. This is the little box we made. Which you can see right here. And all I do is I set this right here like this. Grab my rake. Come back in. And rake. Like I said, he already scooped out the chicken poop from me, but that takes no more than three or four minutes. Just scrape it into the box. Then we switch over to the broom. It's really nice having this river floor. And believe it or not, it doesn't absorb any odors or anything. I was really surprised how well it didn't absorb odors. Okay. Just put it all in here. And we take this over to our compost. Oops, sorry. Oh, let me go ahead and get this side. Mine's a pretty little lump while I'm at it. This is kind of like our store all, store all area, too. I really like the fact that we can uh, separate the two sides. So that we have a storage area and a chicken coop. There we go. Not perfect, but it's a coop. 
take it up with the two handles, bring it over here. Showing my messy garden that I gotta get, go through and clean up. It's beautiful okay, still. Okay, over here. Grab some hay. Okay, I think the hardest part is gonna be the hay. Hey, hey, hey. You're gonna have to censor that one. Nah. <laughs> Why lie to the people? <laughs> it doesn't matter what I tell them, this thing's not going anywhere. I inherited it from my mother. Okay. There you go. And the stories will finish spreading it around. And how long does too. the hay stay good for? Huh? Oh, a long time if you tarp it. Okay. Pretty much the hay, uh, it's actually st straw. Yeah, it's straw. It'll stay good as long. We'll tarp it before the cold weather hits. Okay. And it'll stay good for quite a while. Anyway, throw some of this. What is this? This is a uh, cedar chips, I think, okay. or wood chips. put that in the box. And you did not use regular sand, you used... Uh, play sand. You want to use play sand. sand in this, yeah. And like I said, they come up here, they poop in this, I just take the scoop and mm -hmm. we do, that we do every day. Fantastic. We scoop it out. This, depending on how dirty it gets, it can go from two weeks to a month before it gets clean. Okay. We don't get rain, they're out in the, their yard. So, um, we don't really have to worry about pooping a lot in here. Mainly they do it on the roost, so... It gets cleaned up real easy. Okay. And that's it. Put their food and their water back in. And like I said, they'll put this straw where they want it. We got the nipple system will work great. But for some reason the new birds can't figure Okay, my neighbor kind of stopped it prematurely. What I was trying to say was that system over there is the nipple system and it basically we got this five over here five gallon thing of water and they just hit that to get water unfortunately the new birds aren't as smart as our old birds and they haven't figured it out so we have water here anyway folks that's how we clean our house and then we'll come in this summer and we'll strip down the wood and paint it white again and get it all fresh and new Hi, I thought I'd take you around and show you the rest of the way our chicken coop is set up. Here's our chicken trailer, or tractor as they call it. Anyway, we have a lot of stray dogs in the area, so we cut a hole in the back of it. This is the first caged area, and of course it's got a tarp in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And right now I have them out in the area so I can clean their coop. But this is great when we leave. Because we can put them in there and we know they're safe because under that tarp is chicken wire so no raccoons or anything can get in. And that way too we can leave that little door open 
and they can come in that little area in and out as they want this is the big area that they're in and like I said we don't let them run free because we do have stray dogs and raccoons and unfortunately for my neighbor she lost seven chickens the other day due to animals and then this is the gate that goes in to the other area which we pretty much keep open for them and I hook it like that onto the wire and there's the inside of that cage and then here's the girls I have one that's the rescue that got packed real bad but she's getting her feathers back since she's been here so that's real good and oh the little one that once petted that is witchy poo she's blind in one eye and they we got it they kind of demolished her book so beak so she's a little special bird you see how she turns her head that's because she's blind she's not laying anymore but you always have that one bird you just don't have the heart to put down and she's mine she's gonna stay here till she's ready to go and there's the other ones I don't have many because it's just me and my husband but anyway this is the area they got a little roost out here and a little feeder out here anyway that's our coop hope you enjoyed the video bye